stress and diabetes, a lethal combination. We are going to talk about a topic that affects millions of people worldwide, stress and its connection to the development of diabetes. Have you ever wondered how stress can impact our body and lead to the development of a chronic disease like diabetes? Well, it is no secret that stress is an unavoidable part of our daily lives. It can come from a variety of sources, such as work, finances, relationships, and health problems. However, what many people don't realize is that chronic stress can have long-term negative effects on our health, including increasing the risk of developing type 2 diabetes. Recent research has shed light on the mechanisms by which stress can bring about changes in our body that can eventually lead to diabetes. We know that stress triggers a cascade of hormones, including adrenaline and cortisol, which prepare the body for a fight or flight response. These hormones are released by the adrenal gland, and when released in excess, they can cause a range of negative health effects. Studies have shown that chronic stress is linked to an increased risk of developing type 2 diabetes. This is because stress can cause changes in our body that can eventually lead to insulin resistance, a condition in which the body's cells do not respond to insulin effectively, leading to high blood sugar levels. Furthermore, stress can also lead to unhealthy lifestyle habits such as overeating, smoking, and lack of exercise, which can further increase the risk of developing diabetes. Stress can also interfere with the functioning of the pancreas, the organ responsible for producing insulin. This can lead to inflammation in the pancreas, which can interfere with insulin production and secretion, eventually leading to diabetes. In this video, we will explore the latest research on how stress affects our body and the steps we can take to reduce stress and prevent the development of diabetes. So, let's dive in and learn more about this important topic. Stress is the body's natural response to any kind of demand or threat. When we encounter a stressful situation, our body prepares to respond to the threat by releasing a variety of hormones, including adrenaline and cortisol. Adrenaline is also known as the fight or flight hormone and is responsible for increasing heart rate and blood pressure, while cortisol is the stress hormone that helps the body to cope with stress by increasing glucose levels in the blood. These hormones are released by the adrenal gland, a small gland located on top of the kidneys. The release of these hormones triggers a cascade of physiological responses, including increased heart rate and breathing, and a sharpened focus and attention. This response prepares the body to either fight the threat or flee from it, hence the term, fight or flight. However, when stress becomes chronic and the body is exposed to high levels of cortisol and adrenaline for prolonged periods, it can lead to negative health effects. These negative effects can include increased risk of developing chronic diseases such as diabetes, heart disease, and depression. The excessive release of cortisol in response to chronic stress can also lead to the accumulation of visceral fat, a type of fat that is stored around the organs in the abdomen. This type of fat is associated with an increased risk of metabolic disorders such as insulin resistance, a condition in which the body's cells do not respond to insulin effectively, leading to high blood sugar levels and eventually, diabetes. There have been numerous studies over the years that have investigated the link between chronic stress and the development of type 2 diabetes. In fact, several studies have found a significant association between stress and an increased risk of developing diabetes. For example, a study published in the journal Diabetes Care in 2019 looked at the relationship between stress and diabetes risk over a period of five years. The study included over 7,000 participants and found that those who experienced chronic stress over the five-year period were at a significantly higher risk of developing diabetes compared to those who did not experience stress. Furthermore, the study also found that stress was associated with insulin resistance, a condition in which the body's cells do not respond to insulin effectively, leading to high blood sugar levels. The researchers concluded that chronic stress may be an independent risk factor for the development of type 2 diabetes. Another study published in the journal Psychosomatic Medicine in 2020 investigated the relationship between work stress and diabetes risk. The study included over 73,000 participants and found that those who experienced high levels of work stress were at a higher risk of developing type 2 diabetes compared to those who experienced low levels of work stress. Interestingly, 
The study also found that the association between work stress and diabetes risk was stronger in women than in men. This suggests that gender may play a role in the relationship between stress and diabetes risk. Overall, these studies provide strong evidence to suggest that chronic stress is linked to an increased risk of developing type 2 diabetes. Furthermore, they suggest that stress may contribute to the development of diabetes by promoting insulin resistance and other negative changes in the body. In addition to the link between stress and insulin resistance, recent research has shed light on the impact of stress on the pancreas, the organ responsible for producing insulin. A study published in the Journal of Clinical Endocrinology and Metabolism in 2020 found that stress can negatively affect the functioning of the pancreas, potentially leading to the development of diabetes. The study involved 61 healthy women who were exposed to a stress-inducing task. The researchers measured the participants' stress levels using questionnaires and cortisol levels in their saliva. They also measured insulin secretion and inflammation markers in the participants' blood samples. The study found that stress caused an increase in inflammation markers in the participants' blood samples, suggesting that stress can cause inflammation in the pancreas. This inflammation can interfere with insulin production and secretion, leading to insulin resistance and eventually, diabetes. Additionally, the study found that stress caused a decrease in insulin secretion, further supporting the link between stress and pancreatic dysfunction. These findings are consistent with previous studies that have suggested that inflammation plays a critical role in the development of diabetes. Inflammation can lead to the destruction of pancreatic beta cells, which are responsible for producing insulin. This destruction can lead to a reduction in insulin production and secretion, eventually leading to diabetes. Stress can have a significant impact on our lifestyle habits, leading to unhealthy behaviors that can increase the risk of developing diabetes. A study published in the Journal of Occupational Health Psychology in 2018 found that chronic stress was associated with unhealthy lifestyle habits, such as overeating and smoking. The study involved 2,500 participants and measured their perceived stress levels, as well as their lifestyle behaviors, including diet, exercise, smoking, and alcohol consumption. The researchers found that participants who reported high levels of chronic stress were more likely to engage in unhealthy behaviors, such as overeating, smoking, and not getting enough exercise. Overeating is a common response to stress and can lead to weight gain and obesity, which are risk factors for diabetes. Additionally, smoking and lack of exercise are also risk factors for diabetes, and engaging in these behaviors can further increase the risk of developing the disease. Furthermore, stress can disrupt sleep, leading to inadequate sleep or insomnia, which can also contribute to the development of diabetes. Sleep deprivation has been linked to insulin resistance and impaired glucose metabolism, increasing the risk of diabetes. Epigenetics refers to changes in gene expression that do not involve alterations to the DNA sequence itself. Epigenetic changes can occur in response to various environmental factors, including stress, and can have a lasting impact on the body's functioning. Recent studies have highlighted the role of epigenetics in the link between stress and the development of diabetes. These studies have shown that chronic stress can cause epigenetic changes in genes that regulate metabolism and inflammation. For example, one study found that chronic stress can lead to epigenetic changes in a gene called PGC1-alpha, which is involved in regulating glucose metabolism. These changes can cause a decrease in PGC1-alpha expression, leading to decreased glucose uptake and insulin resistance, which can eventually lead to the development of diabetes. Similarly, another study found that chronic stress can cause epigenetic changes in genes that regulate inflammation. These changes can lead to an increase in pro-inflammatory cytokines, which can contribute to insulin resistance and an increased risk of diabetes. Therefore, it is clear that stress can have a profound impact on our body's functioning, leading to epigenetic changes that increase the risk of diabetes. This highlights the need for individuals to adopt healthy lifestyle behaviors and reduce stress to prevent the negative health effects associated with it. Stress and its impact on our body is an important topic, and there is a growing body of research that highlights the link between stress and the development of chronic diseases, including diabetes. 
As we have discussed earlier, stress triggers the release of hormones such as adrenaline and cortisol, which can have a profound impact on our body's functioning, leading to insulin resistance, inflammation, and an increased risk of diabetes. Therefore, it is essential to understand the mechanisms by which stress affects our body and take steps to reduce stress and prevent the negative health effects associated with it. Adopting healthy lifestyle behaviors such as regular exercise, a balanced diet, and getting enough sleep can help mitigate the effects of stress on the body. In addition, mindfulness practices such as meditation and yoga can be effective in reducing stress and promoting overall health and well-being. These practices have been shown to reduce cortisol levels and improve insulin sensitivity, indicating their potential role in preventing the development of diabetes. Overall, this video has shed light on the complex interplay between stress and the development of diabetes. By understanding the mechanisms by which stress affects our body and adopting healthy lifestyle behaviors, we can mitigate the negative effects of stress and reduce the risk of developing diabetes. Let us take this knowledge and apply it to our daily lives to promote our health and well-being. Do like and subscribe our channel.